I'll call this meeting to order. Roll call. Uh, Bart McCleary. Here. Sandy Sackler. Here. Here. Billy Clay. Here. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. cases that will result in uh, multiple federal indictments so working on getting that getting that wrapped up over the next month or so and then we're also working on getting our um, cocoa with the popo deal put together um, and then again you guys are all invited on the 16th or the 6th this friday night to um, the house of county law enforcement dinner we're going to have steaks baked potato and it's going to be at the Votech, but you both at the Votech. But you guys are invited. Starts at uh, six o'clock. They've got um, a lot of door prizes that they'll be handing out. So you guys are, you and your families are invited to come to that if you want to come. Other than that, we're uh, just staying busy. I don't feel like. And then today starts our school filing period, so this week will be open late. Yeah, office will be there late. School board filing starts today. Mm -hmm. so like started this morning. No, it'll be all week. Mm -hmm. You got anything, Sean? I don't have anything as far as the assessor's office, but I do want to share something. Baskets this year to take over there, and the 4 H kids all just bring different fruits and we just kind of put it together when we get here. But if anybody has any baskets laying around about this size at your house, stuff in the closet or anything that you're not using, like we're going to need a whole bunch of them, so we'll take any baskets off the hands if you don't want. What do y'all put in them? Just fruit and stuff? We like put that. fruit, um, sugar free candy, <clears throat> canned soup. We pretty much have all that divvied out between the kids. They all volunteer what they're going to bring out there. So I think we've got the stuffing for it covered. We just need baskets. And we'll be caroling that night if anyone wants to come sing with us. We're going to carol there and we're going to carol at the national office. Did we bring them to your office? 
Yeah, you can bring it there or you can bring it here. Okay. We need it by um, like 19th. You got the 26 that one? Yeah, we're doing 26 this year. It's a little different every year. That's how it comes out of living there. We show. It's a good thing. Um, Jan Odom is over that, and she said that some of those people, because we've been doing it, this will be our sixth year. <coughs> some of those people, that's the only thing they get for Christmas. So. They look forward to seeing that come, not the elderly people. Yeah, they're low. I think they're low income elderly. No other no business will move on to item six. That's food commissioner's proceedings and previous meetings. I'll make a motion on number six. I'll second. If we could go back just for one second, I apologize. Yeah. But when you went through those um, blanket POs, Michelle and I noticed something that, and we'll bring it to the jail board meeting too. But um, so, like when a deputy does a transport, or our transport deputy does a transport, they're they're utilizing um, a jail vehicle most of the time, or a vehicle that we've designated for the jail that fuel's paid for out of the jail account which is why we have it split. But what was happening is when we claimed that mileage and we claimed those hours for that individual, it was going back into the SSF account, which is the Sheriff's Service fee account. So we wind, we wind up catching that and, and noticing that. So what we've done now is if a Sheriff's Office vehicle is used, a vehicle that's, that the Sheriff's Office pays for fuel for it, then we will do an invoice <coughs> to the jail for that mileage. <coughs> if it is solely a share or a, a vehicle that's paid for, fuel's paid for by the jail, that money will start going into the SJF account, which is the sheriff's jail fee account, which is another cash account for the jail. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you guys will start seeing some deposits going in there for transport that's <coughs> not been in there in the past. Um, but we you know we started looking at that and it's always been done that way. Michelle and I thought, you know, why are we taking jail money, putting it on the sheriff's office side, when really the jail's paying the expenses of, of that fuel and that hourly rate for that individual going. <coughs> so you guys will start seeing some deposits when we do juvenile transports and different transports, those deposits going into that SJF account instead of in the SSF account. So that's just a clerical thing that we want to, just so we can make sure that we can show folks that the funds are Go on where they need to go. Right. Okay, thank you, Tim. Uh, moving on to item eight, refuse to discuss and approve 321 to pay claims for right away for Possum Hollow District 1. We do have some, Ms. Blinken. Yes. Yeah. 
I'll make the motion we approve these. I second it. Mr. Chairman, the uh, budget fee of the total is ten thousand four hundred twenty dollars. Thank you, Randy. Item number nine, discuss and consider to dispose of a 2001 tank truck, oil truck, freight liner, model F70. I went and, uh, to the tech office and got a lost title. And I got the information on it, which had a lien on it, which had to go to CMB Bank. They gave me a release, the title, which should come in this week. And once we do, we'll have, to sign, have them sign it over to the county, take it back to the tag office until we get it, to, till we get it back. Uh, I called Tim and gave him the information on it, and so... Uh, Right now, they do have an auction in February 2020. We can do it online, or if we just want to go out for bids on the phone. That's what the county does. So you're not going to make the December auction? We're not going to have it's another auction short. in February. Yeah. If we want to get in on it. Since the top the seven. We need to cover the sixth. That's what the man told me when he come down and looked at it. <coughs> and that would be the cleanup on it and everything. We'll get it in. We'll probably won't make it. But I think it would probably be better if we put it in the February auction. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't feel like it's going to bring hardly anything. It just bids unless we, I'm, I'm going to call some people that's going to have a call for this and try and look at it. But I can go look at it. Yeah. So, is this motion just to, to just to dispose of it? Yeah. But you're looking like you're going to put it in Richie Brothers' office in February. Well, if, if, if you know, nothing else don't work, I think it's better unless somebody wants to come up, you know, say that being so and so, you know. I mean, I know that's because I guess the rule, but you don't want to mean. I, I, I don't think it's going to bring very much. You know. So that, that, take, that particular work. auction in Fort Worth brings everybody from South America. Yeah. And this time of year, it brings everybody out of the north because they want to get where it's warm. So it's a huge auction. It's usually a three day auction. And I think you'll get more exposure there than you will anywhere. And it, it gives an opportunity to get it cleaned up. To, yeah. you know, them things are hard to clean up. The tanks, the truck's not bad, but the, you know, get the tank and everything. And we, and, but I, I talked to him when he come down. You know, and we didn't know that the tile was in such a jam. I think it'd do a lot better there than we're just trying to sell it here on yeah. locally. Yeah, that, you know, that just. You didn't got our Can't get enough money. exposure. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Good idea. And they would <coughs> power wash it and clean it up. There is a charge for that, but um, then they will take ten uh, percent. But uh, if y'all want to bring it out to the office, I mean, I got the power washer. We've got the degreaser. We've got everything out there. We can. If y'all want to bring it out there, I'll put them trustees on it. Yeah. Well, we've got all the degreaser. I mean, we buy that monthly. Um, heavy duty degreaser and barrels of it. That'd be good because you want to bring it out there and park it and let them 
go to work on it. I'll I'll let them clean it. Hard to get off. It, it is. is. It is. <laughs> I was just going to say, Tim, do you know what you're getting? Uh, they, 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 they they got, got, the main thing about got it hours. Is, is on the back end of the oil truck. I mean, it's that's, that's it's really hard. critical on that. I mean, it's it yeah. has to be. I would say dealt with very gently. <laughs> well, yeah. It, well, uh, I, I think they, you know, clean it all right. It's just to get the stuff on it to take it off. Yeah. That's a stride. Yeah. That's a stride. It's, they've got hours. If y'all, so. they've yeah. got hours to sit out there and and clean it and hand clean it. I don't care. I mean, they've got hours. If y'all want to take it out there and don't pay that fee, yeah. it'll 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 shine. Yeah. I mean, we'll make sure that it's shining. Well, that that sounds good to me. That saves us that much because they wanted. Uh, yeah. What was the thousand dollars? Seven hundred to a thousand dollars. Yeah, Get road oil off of it. Could we put it out there in the grass and have to use diesel or some chemical to dissolve all that road oil. So therefore, it's going to make a big black mess. You know, yeah, it you're going to have to contain it in something. Let me. I'll get with you, Billy Don, and I'll call our company out of Fort Smith, tell them what we got, and see if they have something special we can we can <laughs> buy for it to put into pressure washer. But I'm all about. Fresh water, not water's not gonna take this off. No, it had to be a solvent. Yeah, because it's it's just dried on there. The thing about it, even out there, the, we got a fresh washer, but you know, we can wash it, but it don't touch. Yeah. Salt. Yeah. 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 Take a solvent, take a pump up sprayer, and just soak it in a little more water, keep soaking it, and eventually it loosens it up. And, and we can just bring them out and see if you got a pressure washer out there. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll get the we, stuff we, and we'll come out there and bring them. We'll get it done. The only bad thing, you know, it's just dirt. You know what I mean? It's hard. To get, it's hard. I want you to get things wet down there. Get it clean. Things cleaned up. You probably don't have it. We probably don't do this because you probably don't want that mess out there. Yeah. Yeah. Just bring it out here now. A lot of times, just clean it up good. Just clean it like it should be. Mm. Yeah, it has to be so. Yeah, he told me that. That guy told me said that. Things are hard to clean since you got the much done. He said with what they had, it'd probably take two days. Yeah. Most, but it would most, be worth most the ones that come in. The seven hundred to a thousand. That truck ain't got any miles on it. And if you clean it up and look good, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It just helps. Help Except the other ones. Get rid of it because we don't need it anymore. It's it. Oh, it's not reliable. It's not reliable. Oh, We've had a hard time this last well, the last two years, really. Yeah, I can see the the bill on it. Last time seven thousand. Bill this time twelve thousand eight hundred forty dollars. To use it a month. It, it, it's really not, it, it says it's the kind of truck that uh, needs to be used pretty well, you know, a lot to keep it working. Well, what happens, you park that thing and all those lines, everything gets jammed up, the pumps, you know, it's up there and everything. And uh, when you take it up right to Tulsa, they charge your arm and leg. And think, mm -hmm. It's computerized too, it's got all that computer. Well, really, we don't do the black top relationship at all. So we don't need all of that computer. I think it's a it's too expensive, <coughs> but I'm going to use it to keep it up. We just need one of them like Clark's got. It's it's more of a pen deal, you know what I mean? It's not got all computerized stuff on it. But I paid it when I seen that bill twelve thousand eight hundred forty dollars. That's a lot. That's yeah. to cover everything on it. Yeah. Still costs thirty five hundred just to get it up and back. <laughs> Even though we didn't go ahead with the whole thing. Crazy. Okay, we'll move on to item 10, discuss and consider the 2005 Chevy Silverado. Okay, um, I'll check with the auditors. As long as a county person drives it, it <coughs> and take it to the hospital. But if, they, if no other person can drive, it has to be a county employee. Um, we there are going to be needing some cleaning up at the, the hospital. Uh, we're going to need some help probably from the inmates and probably from of uh, the employees from District 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to go this afternoon and start looking at the buildings and seeing what needs to be done. So we can do that, or if anyone's interested, we just need to toss it around, kind of see what needs to be done. You so if it goes to the hospital, <clears throat> no one can even drive it, really, no. unless they're a county employee, because our insurance will not cover it. Because the hospital, basically, right now, just has the ER. Well, they, they have to have some type of vehicle to, to remove all this debris they've got. They've got warehouses stored full of old stuff. The maintenance up there has been let go and being nil. 
And so if it's if the truck say it's based at, at Sanders district, then she could get a trailer and one of her employees to go up there and haul this stuff off because there's going to be conservatively 30 loads of pickup and trailer of debris that needs to be removed. Sanders, whenever you're ready, we're not mowing right now, of course. Let me know and we'll take the the trailer, the mowing trailer with the sides on it. We'll take it over there and park it. And they can utilize it. And then once they get it full, Chris or our transport guy, we can pick it up and take it wherever you want to take it and dispose of it. But we will we'll take our trailer over and set it and then we'll dispose we'll we'll take care of it. You just I mean and we'll send the inmates over there and help load it. I mean yeah, we, I'm going to go look and kind of see what, what there is on Gibbeth Andrea. Um, just kind of make a game plan. Just start on one building, finish it, start on another one. You let me know. We got we got 42 inmates, and we get requests every day of them wanting to work, and a lot of them are on county misdemeanor charges that they're just in there. I mean, they're not somebody that will make full-time trustees, but they're guys that we can get out for a day and send them over there to work and then bring them back at night and Put them back up. Good place to utilize them. Right yeah, I mean, we, we got them. Let's, let's, let's use them. Well, it depends on the weather sometimes. We'll get it. We'll try to get it started. For the truck to be usable, then, does it need to be transferred to a district? Can no. it not transfer it to the hospital? Can it not be donated? That's what I'm wondering. Is well, we can't donate. Can't donate. There's no one to pay the insurance to pay the tax at this time. And the county can't donate. You know, because right now we're in the process. Right now the hospital is right. not in operation yeah. for the hospital Correct. side. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, does it just the truck have to be uh, disposed of at this time? Or no, we because we, we can't do that right now because they, they've gone out for bids on uh, the assessor's office. So they're still going to probably need it for the next three or four weeks mm -hmm. until they get theirs completed. And it come, the money come out of the general fund to pay for this also. So it's not the assessors that the general fund paid for it whenever they bought it. You know what year they bought it. But it's, at this time, it's still counted properly, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. it is. And we'll continue to. Yes. But we'll check into it. Like I said, right now, we can't make a move until Shauna gets her bid opened up and accepts another one. Because they still use this vehicle. All right, we'll move on then. Item number 11 sign appropriations, transfer of appropriations, check the CDO. supposed to, you know, we're putting stuff out at the building out here. Do you have any idea on that? Like if you've got any kind of a plan or a date on the auction or what? We, we still have to dispose what's out there. And we haven't, wait, I didn't know how many guns Tim had. That's a mess. That's because they're all forfeited to the state. So <coughs> we work with Chuck's office and we will have to do that sale when the DA's office is ready because they belong to them. Okay. Um, you give me a date on when you're wanting to do y'all's and I'll get with Chuck and make it work. We was trying to coordinate with the sheriff's office and get the right. gun deal involved to get to draw people we'll in. Have some, we'll have some there. But my question is, it's been, you know, we've had computers that are just getting older by the day and they were good when they were put out. Um, we're going to have to pull those back in, number one, because the state's got some other things they want us to do to them before they go through an auction. So I've got to get with somebody and get out there and pull those back into the office. But uh, secondary to that is, you know, if it's going to be another three or four years, we need to pull those computers in and just do it in office. They'll just run 
you know, run the bids on those in the office probably and get rid of those. Because I mean computer. I know we first put those things on. I know um, I know when we first put those things on, um, you know, Paul and Marvin were still here. So we've had yes. you know and we've yeah. got you yeah. yeah. have out there. I don't know. Well, if you need to go out there, just give me a call one day. It was one of the other children's made. And then we've got a couple more in the office because we were required to update them this year. So. And, we and those are ones that were in the office already. It's not ones that we had that we had disposed of that were sitting in our office unused for a few years. And now, this year we had to move up uh, to hold more computers at home more storage than what we had, so we've kind of done that over the last couple of months, so we've got those computers as well. We need to get those bid out and sold. Yeah, I'd like to get the whole thing. I mean, you know, when you talk about one, well, some of them are probably even pre-Windows 7. We're on Windows 10, and, and some of them are Windows 7, and the longer the time goes by, those computers are more and more obsolete and less valuable. Might be, might be best on the computer part just to do bids on those, take bids on those. Like seal bids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's a realistic figure? Date. Probably June, probably the summertime. I mean, I, I can get with Chuck. It's just a, the process is not easy on the guns, and we've been going through them. That's why we went that, down and cleaned that bottom building out. Um, you know, I would say, now I don't know, 190 to 120 days, realistically. I mean, we're we went through that whole building. We've got all most of those guns out. Well, we've been waiting for years now, on, and the guns are going to be ready. Well, to I mean, off the for, first we couldn't because the reason the auction didn't happen previously is because there was an election year going. So the only out, the only year that we could actually do an auction would have been. This, this year, and I mean, the guns, I mean, that, I mean. And it, that's what I was told at the I time, mean, was that you couldn't have an auction in an election year, is what I was told. I don't know if that's right or not. That is true. But that's what the county commissioners told couldn't me. Have a, can't, have a, can't have an auction year in an election year. We'll fix and get in the side that's what I start to say. We See, we're fixing year. to be blocked out for another year. So that's why I'm asking if it's possible um, just to re I mean, on the date. Yeah, and I'll check with Chuck again. I mean, we've, we've worked diligently on getting stuff cleaned up. And now it's trying to get everything itemized. Is there, the stuff that's out there now is just pretty much junk, isn't it? There's a lot of chairs. Uh, the uh, health department has put desks and chairs out there. But they, uh, that was the counties that they put out there. But some of that's good, nice, nice tables and chairs mm -hmm. and a few other things. Some of it is like the old, I call them old school house blocks. Uh, there's a couple of church benches out there. Oh, oh goodness. It's an auction. Not enough. 5,000 maybe. You got two units that were sitting out here at the courthouse. You know that we put those around there. We, we keep piling all this stuff. I know. We don't Get rid of this part of the problem if they're possible because all this stuff just accumulates. We need to get rid of it. It's not that valuable, it's not that precious, and it needs to go. Well, we will have to. Some of them have been some of them hasn't. I agree. With, with, with Coffers. We've, and I've, I've kept, I'll just, I'll just tell you, I've kept some of the stuff in our office that we've had to get rid of lately, like the new computers this summer. I kept it there in the office, and so it's there, but we're fixing to be in a bind on. We've got to get that room cleaned out because we have election coming in February. So those two rooms that we've been piling that all in, we, we can't can't continue living there. Now, when we say we can't have an auction when there's an election coming up, is there something in writing that, or is this all hearsay or what? Well, state statute. So state yeah. statute. Okay. Now the gun auction is different because Chuck the. Chuck is different. It's, it's state, so that gun auction can be as long as the DA is not having an election. So that gun auction should be at any time. The county stuff we can't do during a county election if it's county property. So, and I'm sending Chuck a text right now. How many 
many guns they got? Do they about 300, you say, back? We've probably got, I, I bet we've got 250. Um, and then no telling what they have over there. Last time we did one, the only one that we've done, I did it, and we had over 300 guns, and it brought almost $30,000 to the DA's office on that gun. People come out and spent crazy money on, on guns. Stolen. stolen guns are given back to the owners. It's guns that's been seized or forfeited. Say they have drugs and guns, and the state forfeits the gun. That's the guns that we're talking about. He just give me a reply back. Theoretically, we could be ready in 60 days. He's, he's just going to let me handle it. I've asked him. He was going to send his guys over. I sent the message out. Asked him if I could just handle it and get it done. He said, sure. So I could have it ready in 45 to 60 days if, since he's not going to. He's just going to let us handle it. And then we'll have one of their representatives there take the money, deposit in their account. So this going to collide with the action here, though, if it's not done? Let me see what the cutoff is. Yeah, it might be. Thirtieth, it may be February. Filing date. It might be filing date. Before filing date, but let me check. I'll look statute up right now. I don't know, Karen. Do you know?
following is I go by it for kids. Right. That's what you're looking for. Um, no, yeah, I'm looking to see when the, yeah. if you can offer the line. Yeah. I for chance count came that's following. There you go, that was April Fool's auction day. <laughs> wow. April 1st. Just let y'all know the filing packets are already there for county offices too. If you want to see
they believe that as long as the auction is done before April the 8th, which is filing, that we're okay, they are going to get documentation and the statute and bring it to you, Peter, when they get it. So we'll know the exact um, deadline, but they do believe that it's prior to filing of an election year. Just on national election or county election. county election. So really, we we only have a window of about a year and a half because every every year and a half it seems like we're we're in a fight. we every two years we're having an election. So she said it's a question that comes up all the time, and if she thought she had notes on it and she couldn't find them, but she would find it and get it. <laughs> we have to free up a lot of room for me, and I know to free up a lot of space for y'all too. So. Yeah, and, and then elected officials, and then Rhonda's the election board's going to have to go out and dispose of what they've got, and then bring it to the meeting, and then go forward from there. We'll get on that too. And try to set a date for. I know people don't like don't like to, but we had great luck when we did on a Saturday. I know a lot of folks don't like to, but you know if you look at March 28th or April 4th, those are two Saturdays. I mean. It just brings more people out. Seems like on a, on a Saturday. I am changing the subject, but I do want to thank everyone. I know uh, Shauna said her ladies came out and decorated the, the tree at the courthouse. They had Ron bring it up uh, last Tuesday, and they worked on it Tuesday and Wednesday. So I do want to appreciate everybody that came out and done that. Mm -hmm. Gone to meetings for a couple of days. No, Saturday. Okay. They had more money in their pocket on the 4th instead of the 28th. <laughs> That's true. That is true. That's a good that idea. That's true. true. <laughs> And then if, you, if, you, if we don't have an election, or if we have just a primary election but not a general election, as long as there's the election cycle for the county is over, you can you can sell at any time that year. So. So if we don't have any elections going to the general election, county yeah. elections. You can you as long as there's no county elections.
Roman 12 and sex with fish and wind and wind. The waxing on item 12, item number 13 is to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Louis Poyer. Yes. 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 Yes.